Your attitude can mean a world of a difference in your life. So today, we are going to learn the three biggest mistakes you must avoid. That's right, Glenn Bill is here to give us the ABCs to having an amazing attitude. My attitude coach is here. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Now, Glenn, it feels like it should be obvious that we all should know what attitude is, but why don't you define attitude for us today? You know, I do seminars all over the nation, and I ask people what's the most important aspect of success, and so many people say attitude. And then I say, define it for me. And nobody has the answer. So I've defined it for you. It's the way you dedicate yourself to the way you think. I, I was given that by my mentor, Jeffrey Gittimer, who actually wrote a book called The Little Gold Book of Yes Attitude. So it's the way you dedicate yourself to the way you think. I, I love just listening to what you're, you're saying and giving me that definition. It makes me like self eval like, you know what? You're right. That is what I, I'm feeling or what makes me have an attitude, whether it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. Correct. So why is it that we would want a, an attitude coach? What do you help us with in getting like avoiding the bad stuff and getting that good attitude? Right. The attitude comes in two uh, frames. It's either negative or it's positive. I've identified three things that hurt people's attitudes. Number one, A, is attitude addiction. Are you addicted to your attitude? We all know what addiction costs people, but probably the most undiagnosed addiction in America is people who are addicted to their attitude. How do you know if they are? Give them my book, and if they get upset, they're probably addicted <laughs> to their attitude. Aren't you clever? Uh, B is beliefs, right? Bad beliefs. And I always like to ask people, is everything you believe true? Sometimes we believe negative thoughts and they don't work, and see the can't conundrum, uh, focusing on what you can't be, what you can't do, or you can't have. So that's what an attitude coach does, or that's what I do for my clients. Wow. That's great. You know, and it's funny because we're always telling our kids, you know, you choose. You choose if you're happy today or if you're not happy today. And I feel like, you know, we're, we're kind of right in that, but you go so much further with it. And um, why is it that you did decide to write this book? Well, you know, I've been a football coach for 25 years. I was a real estate agent. I was a real estate owner, owned a very large company. I've had a lot of success in my life, and I've been involved in people who I've done business with. Uh, corporations have said, God, your attitude's amazing. You need to write a book. We want to know how you're able to keep the attitude you keep. And so I've brought to you 10 attitude boosters today, and I don't know if you want to read a couple of them. but Yeah, yeah the right on the back of your business card here, which I think is so great. Um, <laughs> attitude boosters, be yeah. nice. You know what's great? I saw in your entry it said the be kind experience. Yes. So I love the fact that you're living it. But being nice is the simplest. Have you ever seen a person with a bad attitude not be nice? I mean, really? Think about it. Yeah. No, that's true. And then what does have a big goal mean? have a big goal when I coach um, mostly salespeople and professionals. I tell them whatever your goal is, I want you to double it. Because it's not about what you receive, it's about who you become. So I, I, I really push people to understand we limit what we think we can do. And uh, I'm about doubling your goal and I think it makes you a different person when you chase a larger goal. And then I'm going to say one more because okay. I think this is my favorite one, number 10. Be a part of something bigger than you. Yes, yes. And you guys know that with what you do. And the bottom line is you will always do something more for someone else than you will for yourself. And uh, I'd like to do something for you if that's okay. Oh. We uh, have these shirts and they're called Attitude Gear. And they're, we say that they're clothes so comfortable they change your attitude. <laughs> So uh, I'd like that. to give I'd like to give you guys oh one goodness, if you like to, you so if you like to work I out like there you go I U of A it. that's my logo you can follow us on Facebook at universityofattitude.com I post uh, inspirational videos and uh, if uh, anybody in Tucson I have a client here Sue Pullen I've, I do speeches for her and do training for them so any local businesses they just uh. can look me up at the website and get it done. Well, you know, and there's certain days of the year that make it extra hard to have an attitude uh, that's on the positive side. Tomorrow being one of them. Tax do you have any tips for us to make it through tomorrow? Yeah, I think the bottom line is uh, I made the decision, right? I'm dedicated to thinking I'm a happy taxpayer. Yeah. I mean, we live in the greatest country in the world. And if you don't go try somewhere else, and you just say to yourself, I'm committed to being a happy taxpayer. And if you focus on all the wonderful things that go on in our country that help you become what you become, hey, man, you write that check and you go pay it. 
See? <laughs> and, and tomorrow's a hard day for a lot of people, but if you just look at it, you know, a lot of things came to mind when I, you were talking with me right now. I've heard people say to me, you know, dress for the job you want, don't dress for the job that you have. You know what I mean? Always look at bigger things, look at, you know, have that brighter future ahead yes. of you. As you're talking, I'm just like feeling good. Yeah, <laughs> so wonderful. The uh, how you show up matters. Yeah. And uh, I coach a lot of people going on to interviews, interviewees and interviewers. I mean, believe it or not, there are people that are very gifted that you want to come work for you, but you're not showing up right. The secret is attitude. Yep. You know, you can have grades, you can have all this stuff, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm an employer. I hire people that have the right attitude. That's my number one criteria. So attitude and success, there is a link in there. Oh, there's no question. I yes. love that. Glenn, thank you so much for stopping by. Great. I'm thank feeling you. very positive for the rest me of the day. <laughs> now, I want you to take a selfie on Instagram and send those to me. You oh, believe you me. got right. it. You're going to look fabulous. <laughs> and to find out more about the ABCs of attitude, you can call 317-590-7757 or log on to universityofattitude.com.